What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2023-24 Obsidian Soccer Hobby Box from Panini. These dropped for 300 bucks on the Panini website, which is cheaper than last year's launch. So starting off with an improvement here. But yeah, as always, we're going to show you guys what this product is all about. And we will go into more detail at the very, very end after the rip. Uh, and yeah, the rating should be at the end of the video like we always do. So definitely stick around for that. But yeah, let's get right into it, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. It really helps us grow and helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that awesome stuff. Just trying to find a place to cut it without damaging the box here. I think that works. But uh, when you click on eBay search links on this page and make a purchase, it can result in us earning a commission, which also supports us in the long run as part of the eBay Partner Network. So just a heads up. And uh, all right. So, one by seven format. You are getting one pack in this, seven cards total. Let me just show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So let's get this pack out. And on average, we should be getting any combo of like four autos, mems, or mem autos per box. Uh, but the average does seem to be two mems and two autos at least. And of course, uh, one base numbered to 120, uh, or one parallel instead. But you know, more often than not, it is going to be the base and an additional parallel or insert. And by that, I mean black color blast or a white knight. And at the very, very end, typically at the bottom, you should see the die cut. And yeah, in terms of parallels, here is actually the back of the box. So you might wanna pause this to see what's in this little thing. And then uh, let me just show you guys all the other sides of the box here as well. All right. And um, yeah, I'll also put up a reference table for you guys to help with the whole uh, visual aspect of it in terms of parallels, because it can get confusing, especially for people who are just joining the hobby. But yeah, compared to last year, uh, the print run did go up just a little bit. So it's pretty minimal in the grand scheme of things, uh, especially with a significant prize drop um, like we mentioned earlier. But yeah, in terms of the case sets that we mentioned earlier, Black Color Blast, that's very, very typical uh, for Obsidian. So they're back once again. And we do have the brand new White Knight inserts, which at this point, both of the images uh, have been on the screen in case we don't pull one today. Hopefully we pull one, but those are pretty rare. So uh, yeah, pretty cool designs uh, for both. And if you guys are interested in getting some of these boxes or want to join any group breaks, uh, check out our website, breakfastcards.com or link in the description down below. Uh, we do ship worldwide, so definitely looking uh, forward to seeing some new names, new orders, and hopefully some new faces at any upcoming card shows that we're going to be visiting this year. But uh, yeah, moment of truth, guys. Now that that intro is over with, let's actually put this right in the center. Might have to do one of these once again. Gotta be, I try to be delicate with this pack because it is packed pretty tight. These cards aren't really the most durable simply because they're thicker than your average uh, prism or chrome stock. Let's see what's at the top here. It looks like we have a base to start things off. And that uh, die cut's always gonna be loose. So probably wanna be careful with these guys if you're uh, yeah, doing some group breaks or just personal rips. But let's do one by one here. First one, Romero out of 120, 13 out of 120. This is very, very, very typical for Obsidian. If you've never seen it before, always have some sort of strange design. Some people might even relate it to a Greek design, but these are gonna fit in 55 to 60 point top loaders. That's what you're gonna need for these. So uh, yeah, pretty snug fit for that. So should be good on that aspect. And let's see what's next. Ooh, we have a blue, electric etch blue Kaoru Mitoma. Blue on blue, this one actually looks pretty cool in person. On the screen, it kind of looks a little strange. In person, it looks so much better because you can see the blue better. So nine out of 20. So a lot of these are unexpectedly numbered way lower than all of our other Prism or Chrome stock sets from Panini. So I'm gonna sleeve everything else at the end just to save time here. But let's see what our first patch is gonna be. We have Teo Hernandez in his France kit. And 29 out of 50, not from any specific game or event. So he probably touched it, probably sneezed or coughed on it or something like that. But I'm pretty sure you can get player worn or match worn from this set as well. So at least we have that to look forward to. Here is William Saliba. So, so far, AC Milan and Arsenal boys love to see it. 
7 out of 25. This one is also not from any specific game or event. So let's set that one down for now. And by the way, it's actually kind of very, very hard at first glance to kind of tell the difference between uh, what parallel is what for the patches and the auto. So just kind of always take a look at the back uh, and refer to the checklist to kind of see what is what. But let's see what our first auto is going to be. It is going to be Denzel Dumfries. So Inter Milan there. That's out of 199. Crazy, crazy 19. This is probably going to be the highest numbered card in this entire set. They do have a bunch of these because, yeah, pretty much of around 2,000 cases will do that. But relatively speaking, that's actually not that high. All right, let's actually take a look at our die cut. And then our final auto after that. And here is good old Joe Burrow. At certain angles, this guy looks a lot like Joe Burrow. I've been saying that for a while now. It's turned into a meme, but 32 out of 49 die cut for Brentford. This one has purple tint. We saw pink slash red over there, blue. So it's kind of all over the place. So we're all really hoping to get uh, floods. And by the way, these are extremely difficult to sleeve. So if you want to minimize the risk of damaging die cuts, try to make a cut in your penny sleeves corners just to avoid any excess fidgeting. But there we go. This one should also fit in a 55 point top loader. Uh, the patches should actually fit in thicker sleeves and 130 point top loaders. I think there could be maybe just a few that fit in 100 point, but for the most part, you're going to need 55 to 60 point for all the other cards and then for the patches and autos the thicker cards of course 130 point so let's uh i think this is going to be horizontal from what i kind of saw maybe not so we have a rookie auto can it be can we do it can we get oh lavinia mall volcanic <laughs> autograph bang out of 199 48 out of 199 oh my god there we go. First Laminia Mall Auto pulled in person. I love to see it. Look at that. I don't even see if, uh, okay, not from any specific game or event, but we will take it. This is definitely, definitely the Chase Rookie Auto to hit from this period. So Volcanic Laminia Mall. Very, very interesting design. I like how they actually fixed the, um, the sticker design because last year it was like super cluttery. You could barely see the auto sometimes, but I'm glad they uh, kind of brought it back down to earth. So same with this one here. You can actually see the auto, but uh, wow, 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 wow. Hopefully this is a good sign for our case spread, guys. There we go, Laminium Ball. I honestly, I'm still trying to process this. Let's get a 130 point top loader for this guy. So when I was picking up the cards, I did see a Barcelona, but I thought it was gonna be like one of the Barcelona, maybe like filler autos or maybe one of the other guys like Gavi or something like that. Uh, I was honestly hoping it was going to be like Messi, but I, I I don't think Messi has Barcelona autos in this. I think it's only like Argentina. But anyway, Aminu Mall autograph, single box, Mojo. Love to see it. Hope to pull some crazier stuff for you guys. I mean, this is out of 199, but we got a Aminu Mall auto. So let's uh, sleeve these guys real quick. And we'll do a recap here in just a few seconds. So for our non-thick cards, we have our base out of 120, of course. Nothing too crazy here. This one actually is pretty cool, in my opinion. Blue on blue is something that we always love to see. If it was a blue fine at one of one, I think it would be even crazier. But all right, there is Jensen and our two patches, Arsenal and AC Milan, both for France in these. And these were out of 50 and out of 25. So different parallels here, as you guys can see by the maybe etch colors, a little bit different. And then we had this first auto, which kind of was somewhat discouraging, not going to lie. And then we had Boy Wonder himself, Lamini Mall, the next goat, big question mark or big check mark at this point. I'm sure a lot of us already know the answer. But in terms of rating, guys, I'll put up on the screen while we talk about it. And uh, yeah, honestly, it's not perfect, but definitely an overall thumbs up uh, for me, at least uh, compared to last year. Uh, the design isn't the best obsidian design out there, but it's still on par with last year's design, at least in terms of rating. So, you know, could definitely use some sort of like cleanup job in my opinion, but 
the floods kind of make up for it once again um, always saving the day because they look absolutely amazing just stunning parallels there so hopefully one of you guys uh, will be able to get those from some of your boxes and uh, yeah the contra in my opinion is my personal favorite and the golds are just as stunning if not even better so i'm glad they added those last year and i just really wish they'd shrink the checklist just a little bit but you know no change from last year i guess and uh, in terms of launch price definitely a big improvement like we mentioned earlier but three percent increase in print run nothing too crazy here uh but still much much better than so many other sets we've seen released this year from panini and tops where you know some of them have had like 10 20 even 30 percent print run increase which is pretty wild and uh yeah, about 2,000 to 2,100 hobby cases uh, made for this set, and we will be reviewing the International. I'm going to assume it's not going to be Team All anymore. Uh, so International boxes is probably like white um, Pulsar packs when they do come out. And of course, don't forget the crazy rookie class, uh, Lamini Mall, Endrick, Camarda, Ardaguler, and Estevo. And of course, we have Kenan Yildiz with them, uh, Vita Roque, John Duran, Ethan Waneri, Claudio Chiveri, and Jaden Shaw from the women's side. So they really, really pack this product guys they really wanted to to give it a lot of different selling points and i think they succeeded but yeah honorable mentions for rookies we also have facundo bononote once again uh, mateo rotegi and mickey van de ven just to keep things short but in terms of auto ratio for this set uh it's sitting at the industry average surprisingly uh which isn't as good as last year but at least it's not below average especially for product like the obsidian so no cristiano ronaldo auto unfortunately but we do have messi luminium all uh, Endrick rookie autos, Mbappe, Holland, and a lot of other legends like Zlatan, David Beckham, Thierry Henry, Drogba, Zidane, RVP, and the list goes on and on and on. But yeah, guys, Obsidian is definitely up there in terms of sets this year, and the floods are so big in the hobby, you know, compared to all the other cards you can get from the set, they're going to go pretty hard. So all in all, fun product. Um, definitely not for the faint-hearted because you're only getting seven cards, so if you're not used to that uh, and you want to try out... Uh, an obsidian soccer set for the first time honestly this is the set to do it um it's cheaper i'm sure the prices of hobby boxes for last year's set kind of dropped but at least there's a lot of rookies in this one to make up for it so um yeah if you got a chance to do it grab one of these and a good luck but anyway that is pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful thanks for watching stick around for more content group breaks and a pretty nice giveaway pretty soon and as always we'll see you in the next one